So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this guy. His name's Rob. He was on the Ellen Show. She gave him a ton of money for donating these things called comfort cases to kids in the foster care system. Basically, he came onto my Instagram after a post about my GoFundMe and shamed me for using GoFundMe for IVF and surrogacy. He's also an LGBTQ person and talks about positivity and all this stuff. And I wanna tell you guys this story and share it with you because it's a mess and it's horrible. So if you don't know, just to catch everyone up, I'm doing the IVF surrogacy stuff now, right? And I was fostering, I fostered two babies. It didn't work out. They got placed in other homes. And then I decided to go the foster, I'm sorry, the IVF surrogacy route. IVF and surrogacy is very, very expensive. I'm doing it internationally in Cancun, and that's even cheaper because of the currency and you know, pesos are cheaper. So it's gonna cost me around 50, $55,000 in total to uh, complete the process. However, in, along the way, I have been urged and decided to use GoFundMe to raise some of the money as much as I can for this process. Now, I put out an Instagram reel, right, today. See this, this Instagram reel that I put out, um, all about supporting, supporting LGBTQ people in parenting. The whole reel was about why we need to support LGBTQ people and parenting. I then in the description broke down three different reasons why we need to be supportive, how LGBTQ people need to support other LGBTQ parents, and also how non-LGBTQ people also need to support LGBTQ people in being parents. And I talked about things about how we have overcome decades and decades and decades of oppression and repression to in ourselves and thinking that we can't do this to getting to the point where we can do this. I talked about how kids that are growing up today are gonna live in a normal world where being a gay parent is normal, but how someone like myself, a millennial who's 35 years old, it took decades to get to the point to where I think I can be a father. And then I put this reel out and Rob, Rob says this, and I'll put this all on the screen as well. So Rob says this, as an LGBTQ parent of five kids, I have never judged. This, will, this I will say, 120,000 kids waiting for a family in foster care. True, maybe not the baby you want. And our latest adoption is our son who was 18. I would never support or have anyone support a GoFundMe to build a family. We spent over $60,000 in attorney fees of our own money, he says own in all caps, own money, and even though we could have done it for nothing, made that choice, not anyone else. Sorry that this is not the post you expected. Remember, this is my opinion, no one else's, and I'm entitled to it. So I went and then I replied to him, Rob, your frustration shines bright here. I could have gone without it. Rob replies back, I have no frustration whatsoever. If you're going to post something publicly, then you should expect everyone's opinion, and I gave mine. After his reply back, I went and unfollowed him. So Rob is from Baltimore, where I'm from. I know Rob, I never met him in person, but after he was on Ellen, I saw that he was from Baltimore. So I did some research, this is years ago, and we added each other on Facebook and Instagram. He was following my journey for uh, through foster care and was supportive. He wanted me on his podcast recently this year and I was gonna do his podcast, but then I was traveling and all this stuff with the baby stuff was going on. I got really busy, really busy with real estate. And then when I tried to get on this podcast, my connection, all this stuff was messing up. I couldn't get on. And then we tried to reschedule and I realized doing his podcast isn't actually the best thing for me because I'm not fostering anymore. I'm doing a whole different thing with IVF and surrogacy. So why would I go on a podcast talking about foster care? I didn't want to do it. So I'm wondering if part of his ink aggression has to do with the fact that I kind of decided not to do his podcast. Anyway, so I decided today after he sent me those, uh, those replies, I decided that I was going to unfollow him. Then he sees that I unfollow him like a minute or two later. And he says to me this, it's so funny. You get someone's opinion 
you stop following him, maybe you might want to rethink the parenting thing because you're not always going to like what someone says to you, especially if you're a dad. So I then responded to him and I said, I stopped following you because I don't like the energy that you're displaying. I refuse to interact with people who cause me anxiety and that's what you're doing in this moment. I don't agree with some of the things I've seen you post. Do I give you my unsolicited opinion on them? Nope. In fact, I've done the opposite. That being said, good day, sir. And he says to me, this is so funny. The only thing I have I have a post about is how my organization is helping kids in foster care, whatever, not to worry about not losing sleep over it. There's so much wrong with this. Okay, first off, first off, there are plenty, plenty of people on GoFundMe that are raising the funds for IVF and surrogacy and adoption and all different types of things. People are doing it on GoFundMe. It is very expensive. Not everyone has all the money in the world. Not everyone can do this by themselves. And honestly, we all talk about parenting being a tribe. This is what it means for everyone to get involved and help people parent children, okay? So there are other people doing this. I'm not this anomaly person, first off. And second off, how dare you? How dare you come to someone's Instagram page trying to do things that are positive and also trying to raise money for their for their GoFundMe. Let's keep in mind, the only way, the only time I asked some anyone to donate to the GoFundMe was when, it was like the last three or four seconds of the Instagram reel and the very end of the description, I said, if you'd like to donate, the link is in the comment, in, the, in my bio. So it's not like this big, huge push. It's a simple, simple, little, small ask. How dare you come onto someone's stuff and tell anyone not to donate to someone's campaign, whatever campaign it is, first off, especially if it's not doing any harm. Like, it's not like I'm doing anything negative in, in to anyone, to anyone at all. And then what pisses me off even more is that this person says, well, maybe you shouldn't be a dad is what he's implying because people are gonna have opinions. First off, I already, parented a child, okay? I already had many opinions. If you watch other videos of mine or you saw me on Instagram, which he has, he knows I've gotten many opinions from people and I feel like I handle it damn well. So who are you to come to me and say anything like that first off? And second, why would you even do that? This is the problem with so many people in the gay. I'm gonna say specifically the gay community. It is full, especially here in Los Angeles, full of people who just want to cut down the other person, the other gay person. It is so catty at times. There's no reason, no reason to treat someone like that. No reason to say things like that. There are so many people. I know gay men that are like, I will never have children. I don't want to have children. I just want to party my life away. And then you've got someone over here like myself, and there are others like myself. I know them personally who are like, no, I want children. I want to raise children. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I want to have a child. Like, I'm a Christian. Like, what more do you f want from me? Or what more do you want from me? Why don't you just put aside your stress and anxiety and anger that I may have, like, may, I only thing I could possibly think of is two things. One, he's pissed off I didn't come on his podcast. Or two, he's just angry that I want to use GoFundMe for even part of this because I talk about doing, I talk about on my Instagram, you know, going and getting new clients to sell homes to and make more money and fund as much of this process by myself that I can. It's not like I'm saying I want to do the whole thing through GoFundMe. Why don't you just see like the good in it rather than cutting someone down? There is, we as LGBTQ people go through life with slurs being thrown at us enough, with, you know, family members that don't fully support us, with friends that don't always even fully support us. We, we go into churches that don't fully support us. The last thing we need is our own community not supporting us. If you don't like what someone's doing, just shut up, mind your own business. If they are not harming anyone, mind your own business and move on. Just move on. Do you know how many t 
times I want to comment on someone's pictures or reels or Facebook post and say my opinion and I type those out and then I delete it because it's really not going to help anyone. Another thing, this guy Rob, right? He's the, like I said, the founder of Comfort Cases. And what they do is they, they create these like bags for foster kids. It's a nonprofit, nonprofit. They create these bags for foster kids and they basically give them things to go from house to house. So they're not, they have belongings and they have something to keep their belongings, belongings in. In. Well, his, his organization kind of blew up because years ago he was on the Ellen show and Ellen brought him and his partner on and basically praised him for everything that he's doing and said, well, you're wonderful, you're wonderful, you're wonderful. And he's been on the news in Maryland and on DC and all over now and his organization's growing. Well, you know that $60,000 that he said he did on his own? I don't know. Now, I, I have done many videos and I've said I don't like making opinions and judging people, but all I gotta say is do not say you never have taken handouts because it's all over TV and the internet. Ellen gave you a check for $10,000. So do not come to me or anyone else and beat them down for trying to get money or raise money or anything. Take donations, take support, because one, you don't know people's situations, you don't know people, and two, you did it yourself. Did you say, no, Ellen, I don't want that 10 grand? No. Did you say to all the other people that have probably donated to Comfort Cases after you were on Ellen and wanted to support Comfort Cases and get their tax write-off? Did you tell them, no, you don't want their money? I doubt you did that. I doubt you did that. So before you speak, think. Before you type and be a little keyboard warrior, think. Because you will be called out. I'm not afraid of it, and I'm not ashamed to call people out. You will be called out. You will. So with that, if you watch this and you want to donate to my GoFundMe, the link is in the description below. Thanks, everyone. Always keep it real. Always keep it real.